What's up everyone? It is about 11.30 p.m. and I just made it to Denver, Colorado. Um, I think it's been about a week since my last flight. Um, I got called, well not called, but I went on reserve this morning at 2.35 a.m. and crew scheduling put this trip on my schedule board at about 7 this morning. So um, I did a 4.30 p.m. departure, so I did a p.m. trip today and it's a three-day trip supposedly it's a two legs today four legs tomorrow and three legs on the last day but uh, my first departure from vegas to san jose once we got to san jose we we're gonna change planes and do san jose to long beach and layover in long beach but when we got to san jose crew scheduling had another idea for us or other plans for us. So when we got into San Jose, we actually deadheaded from San Jose to Denver and we are here tonight. Tomorrow, we were supposed to do four legs, but now we're just doing three legs. So no complaints there. I'll let you guys know what those flights are for tomorrow. But this is my first layover in Denver. This is a very nice hotel room and I heard that the beds are really comfortable. What was really nice is the crew on this last flight, um, some of them were from Hawaii, they're from Honolulu, so it was really nice meeting them. They are actually based in Oakland, but they commute from Hawaii, can you believe that? So people actually live in Hawaii and are based here on the mainland and they commute to work. How cool is that? I mean, what other job allows you to commute like that. Uh, anywho, it is late. Um, I am hungry and a little tired, even though I only worked one flight today. But for some reason, this flight, this deadhead flight was only two hours long, but it seemed like five hours for some reason. I guess because it's so late, we got here so late. Um, I'll show you guys the view in the morning. And um, yeah, so I am going to take a shower, eat something, and get some rest. Tomorrow, our report time is not until 10.40 a.m., so it's a short layover. We only have 11-hour layover right now. And we'll end up in, where did I say tomorrow? We're going to end up in Austin, Texas, as our next layover. I totally forgot all of the flight stats today. I know some of you guys like hearing that. So the flight that we worked today was on the 737-700, so that's the smaller plane. We are only booked at 87 passengers, and um, it was a little bumpy on the climb out, so the captain had us sit down for a while, and by the time we were able to get up to do service, it was um, a little crunch time because um, the flight was only like an hour long, so we basically just did a water service, snack and water service. And then before you know it, it was time to land. But um, yeah, light load today, 87 passengers. Um, and I am the C position again for this entire um, trip. So yeah, so far I've just been getting C, C position. I'm not complaining though. Um, and my crew is really nice. My A flight attendant, she just graduated maybe two months ago. And then my B flight attendant, she's been here for a while. So it's nice having um, the nice mix. Um, but anywho, that was the stats for today. And then the flight, the deadhead flight from San Jose here was on the 737-800. I thought I didn't have a fridge in my room, but it's in this closet thing here. So um, just putting away my food. So I meal prepped again. So I made this time some tuna wrap. Um, I use tortillas this time, so made some tuna wraps. I made again another pasta salad. This one I made it with the um, the lentil pasta, so it's a little bit more healthier. And then I made a couscous salad. There, I brought some boiled eggs, and then I decided to bring some iced coffee since it's summertime. So I just got me some. Uh, Mr. Coffees. And then I brought a thing of soup. But I don't have a microwave, so hopefully maybe Austin has a microwave. Or maybe I won't eat it. I'll just eat whatever else I have. But yeah, so that's the food that I brought for this trip. And then I have like snacks and stuff, but those were my meal prep food.
Good morning, everyone. It is about 9.15 a.m. I wanted to wake up at about 8 a.m. this morning, but I kept snoozing my alarm. So I woke up at about maybe 8.30, um, and I just had my coffee and some of my eggs that I brought with me, and then um, just relaxing until it's time to meet downstairs. We're gonna meet at 10 a.m. Our hotel is right by the airport, so we can just walk on over our first flight is going to be at 11, 10 a.m. So we're working three lakes today. We are doing a Montrose turn first. So that's Denver to Montrose, Montrose back to Denver, and then we work Denver to Austin, Texas. Um, never been to Montrose. Um, I kind of looked up the city. It looks like a really cool, small, I think it's not very large, like a small city, townish up in the mountains, it looks really nice. Um, we're just doing a turn, so I won't get to you know explore the town or city, but um, our flights are, the first two flights are on the 737-700, so we have about 130 passengers on each of those flights. And then um, our last flight, the third flight to Austin, we are switching planes to an 800. And that has about 166 passengers um, for that flight. And these flights to Montrose is only like an hour, so hour each way, so quick flights. And then the Austin flight, I think, is booked at, locked at two hours for that one. So that's pretty cool too. Oh, and a little neat feature I found last night are these little cool reading lights. They pop out, but so see how they come out like that and then you can just shine it wherever you want and then they just pop back in but last night i popped it back in and then they kept popping out like and the light would come on and i'm like i can't sleep with the light on and i pushed it back in and kept popping out but i guess once after the spring gets worn out i mean i finally got it to stay so hopefully it'll stay put but neat feature. I had a really nice sleep last night, totally knocked out till this morning. Um, this is a really nice hotel room. I really enjoyed it. And you can always tell when the hotel is pretty nice is when they have actual drinking glasses instead of like plastic cups. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, anywho, let's get this day started. I will probably see you guys when we are in Austin. Alright guys, made it back to Denver, but look who I ran into into the lounge. Hey! It's three. Hey you two! It's three of my classmates from training. They're out hanging out here on, what are you guys on? Ready Reserve, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're just here hanging out, waiting to be called to work. But there was like a huge storm that came through Denver, so everything I think is probably backed up or something going on over here. But yeah, three of my classmates. Hey you two! <laughs> hey guys, it has been an interesting day. I am back in Denver. So this morning's flight from Denver to Montrose um, uh, was good. Uh, it was bumpy um, coming out of Denver and um, pilots told us to sit down for the whole flight. And the flight was short, like an hour flight. So we got to Montrose and then the flight from Montrose back here to Denver was also a little bumpy. So pilot told us, rude, hold on. Yeah, so the flight from Montrose back here to Denver was also bumpy, so pilots had us sit down for the entire flight. But what was supposed to be about an hour flight turned into an hour and 40 minute flight because as we got near to Denver, Denver had thunderstorms and so they shut down the airport so we couldn't land. So we were doing donuts in the sky until they reopened the airport and then we finally could land in Denver. Um, our third flight for today was Denver to Austin, which is delayed now. So we're hanging out in the lounge where I got, um, where I met some of my classmates. Um, it is 4 p.m. right now. Our Denver to Austin flight is not scheduled to depart until 6.30 p.m. is the latest word. And then tomorrow we were supposed to have three flights back to Vegas, but that got revised. And now we just deadhead tomorrow back home to Vegas. That is what is the schedule now, so you know things could change. But um, yeah, so pretty cool hanging out here in Denver, talking to my classmates, and just seeing how everybody's flying's been going. 
and just catching up with them. So we will see if um, our flight leaves today at 6.30 and I will probably see you guys in Austin. If not, if anything changes, I will let you guys know. Aloha. you guys what a day what a day made it here to austin it is 12 20 a.m in the morning we landed at about 11 30 a.m so we end up not leaving denver until 8 30 like 8 30 p.m so we were on the ground or like just delayed for five hours on the ground so we were just hanging out in the lounge and then we went to hang out by the gate area uh, which is really nice we have some new gates um a Newgate uh, wing uh, in Denver, so it was really nice hanging out in the that area. I had some clips of the clips of that in the vlog, but yeah, five hour wait, sit, delay, whatever you want to call it in Denver. Finally left Denver, got here to Austin, full flight, um, and we had actually one um, uh, we had dogs, we had wheelchair passengers. We had young travelers, uh, like a mix of everything. So, but um, the flight was a cool flight. Everybody I think was just tired because they were waiting there a long time too. Because originally that flight was supposed to have left earlier, like at two something. So yeah, they were waiting as long as we were waiting. Um, and then tomorrow we are still scheduled. I think I told you we are still scheduled to just dead head home tomorrow. So our flight is at eight. I think it's at eight. 40 a.m. departure non-stop to Vegas. We are deadheading, getting to Vegas at about 9.30 a.m. And um, I'm still on reserve for the rest of the day. So once I get into Vegas, I just need to call through scheduling and see if I can get released from my reserve. If not, they can say no and they can be like, we have a trip for you or hang out in the lounge as airport standby. Um, but I'm only good for tomorrow, so they would have to, if they assign me a trip, it would need to be a turn because they need to get me back to Vegas by tomorrow evening because I'm only good for one day tomorrow. But hopefully when I get into Vegas tomorrow morning, they will release me right away. But I'm so tired. I'm so hungry. You know the drill. Shower, eat, sleep. But not so bad since tomorrow is a deadhead, so um, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, good morning. It is about 7 a.m. I forgot to tell you guys that this was only a nine hour layover because of the delay yesterday. Our layover time got shorter and shorter and shorter. And this is like nine hours is close, so close to minimum rest where if it got any less, they would probably have to move our flight today to a later flight. But we're I think right on the time limit or time out or whatever you want to call it i'm so tired i feel like i just closed my eyes but anyways let's head home so just the deadhead flight uh back to vegas today so i will see you guys back in vegas oh yeah i forgot to check what the view is this morning and it is the parking lot and the freeway and some bushes. Oh my gosh, look. I wonder if it's windy. You can see the clouds really moving.
guys i am back home in vegas that was a quick easy deadhead flight it was like two hours and 30 minutes um and i got released from crew scheduling so i am done for the day i am done with my trip but what a trip i mean from day one it was schedule changes delays day two schedule changes delays day three schedule changes so very very interesting trip but overall it was um a pretty good trip pretty good trip overall um i am off for the next five days and then i am back on reserve oh and i double checked my schedule um earlier and our rest last night was actually under nine hours there was like these big bold red letters going across of my schedule so that is like below the minimum rest time so i believe we get um extra pay or something like that for yeah because we went below our minimum rest because of the delay yesterday so yeah but it's all cool so yeah off for the next five days and then back on reserve for three so i will see you guys then aloha